Trish. I want to thank you for giving me a little bit of your day. I hope that you all are doing well. And what I'm doing today, I'm really excited. I have been invited to do a collab. Rosa and Lori have invited me to do this collab with so many beautiful ladies here on YouTube. I'm going to have them all listed down below. Please go check them out. But thank you, Rosa and Lori, for including me in this collab. It has been so much fun. I thought I would just go for something you guys that have been with me for a while know is kind of out of my box, and that is glitter. It was a lot of fun, kind of a girls night out, hanging out with some friends, a date, maybe there's somebody you want to get their interest, put a little glitter on, girl, he's going to be looking. I hope that you enjoyed this look and please don't forget to look down below and go check out everybody else's video that's in the collab. There's going to be such a variation of different videos and giving you guys different ideas. So thank you again for watching. I hope that you have a very safe and happy fourth. Okay, so let's find out how I got this look. I've decided to use my Stila in the No palette to start into my crease. I'm gonna go in with this second lightest shade and I'm just going to put that up from my crease to my brow bone. And then I'm gonna go in with the third color just a little bit of the fourth. This is a all matte palette. They did have them on clearance. I don't know if they're still available. Maybe on Amazon. I just want to warm up my crease a little bit. And now I'm going to bring out my California Roll palette from Wet n Wild. I had somebody that asked me to use this red eyeshadow once before and I did a quick little tutorial with it and when I was invited to do this collab I thought you know what I want to use that red eyeshadow again so since I've already placed a transition collar in my crease and I've warmed it up I'm going to go ahead in with this red collar just right here really easy Sometimes less is more. And for me, working with red eyeshadow, that's one of those times. Okay, I think I have about equal amounts placed there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in another brush to blend that out with. I don't want to lose that collar, so I'm just blending the edge. And I chose this one because see how the tip is pointed? It's nicely tapered and pointed, so I'm going to be able to not disturb any more than I want to. If you like it a little more blended, you can always go back in with one of the colors that you used to warm up your crease collar and just buff it in right on the line and you're going to get a smoother, more blended look. It's just, this is a little bit outside the box look, so I'm going to leave it. And then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Eye Studio. This is Sapphire Stylist and these are the colors. And I'm going to go into this beautiful blue collar. And I'm going to hit that right on the outer V. And up just a little bit. Just so I can see it. And I'm going to take this blue. And I'm going to go in the very inner corner like that then 
I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to blend ever so gently. Now I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to go in with this silver. I think it is beautiful. And I'm just going to place it right in the very middle. Take my tiny brush and go in with this really dark blue. And I'm just deepening this because this is more of an evening. You're going to go out with your friends. You're going to go out on a date or just a girl's night out to watch fireworks. And you want to look as sparkly and as glittery as the fireworks. So we are just going to do that. And then just right into the very inner corner. Y'all know that that's the key when we're wanting to wear a bunch of collars is the blending. I know it looks scary right now. It'll be okay, I promise. I take one of my wipes here. This is why I don't do my concealer until I'm done. Because I want to clean up that. And this next step is actually a first on my channel. It is glitter. Yep, I know. You guys have never seen me use glitter, like straight up glitter. I got this at Sally's. This is the glitter adhesive, and this is the glitter. And I started to do, I thought about doing a blue, but I've already got plenty of blue on. And I thought about doing a silver. But then I thought, I'm going, to do, I'm going to do this white because it's going to catch so many different colors and it's going to be so pretty. So if I can get it open, I'm going to take just a little bit of this adhesive put it on the back of my hand and I'm just going, and I am going to use a, a little bit closer in there. I'm just going to put it, pat it right on top of that gray. Like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this glitter. So pretty. And I'm just going to pop it on there. You know what? That's showing up a lot more green. It's pulling a lot of green. I'm going to mix a little bit of this blue. Look at that blue. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to mix a little bit of that. I'm going to sneeze. And a little bit of the silver. Oh, that's a little more than a little. Now, if you have hooded eyes or aging eyes. I wouldn't suggest going completely up into your crease. If you see, I stopped it down here. Okay, now after you have given your glitter time to dry, and please make sure you do, because if you go to blend or do anything, it's going to be a mess. I'm going to go back in with this lightest blue. Actually, I'm going to mix the lightest blue and a little bit of the silver. Yeah. And I'm just going to go right above that glitter just to blend it in. Like that. I want you to have glitter all over. And if you don't have a really small brush to go in and do that, use a Q-tip. 
not a big deal. Okay. Now, I'm going to attempt to remove the glitter from under my eyes. I've been using my L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. This is the eye one. And honestly, get the regular one. There's not that much difference in the price and it works really well under your eyes too. So I went ahead and bought this. So I'm gonna use it. But I do like it under my eye. I like the regular for the whole face better, but I have this one, so I will use it. For my concealer today, I'm just gonna be using my Maybelline Fit. It's a good concealer. So I'm just going to go in with a lighter one right there. I'm not going to go way down because in the summer my pores tend to be a little bit bigger, so I don't want to enhance that. I'm going to use my Nude Scandalize for my lower lashes. And I'm just wanting to get that in there so my eyeshadow is going to stick. And I'm going to go in with my teeny tiny, teeny tiny brush. And I'm going to go back into the California roll. And I'm going to use this pearlescent color and I'm just going to do right inside here just because I want to brighten that up a bit. Okay, I'm going to take this red just a little bit like ever so slightly and I'm going to push that up right into my lash line and then I'm going to take the silver and the medium blue and put that like right on top of it. And then I'm going to take the dark blue and connect it like that. I'm going to curl my lashes and line my eyes and I'll be right. Okay, so I lined my tight line and my water line with the blue, navy blue, and scandalize, deep blue, I'm sorry, it's deep blue, and scandalize, and I used my Kat Von D Trooper just for on my lid. Because I was going to go ahead and wear false lashes, which I really think that pulls a look like this together, I didn't do a wing liner or anything. I would suggest if you don't want to do false lashes and you're wanting to do glitter, sparkle, that kind of thing, that you think about doing even just a little baby wing liner. Okay, so I am going to take my NARS and set that concealer that I put under my eyes. I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte and just stipple that onto my skin. I did my foundation before I started filming um, just to save time. And what I've used most of the week, actually, I've been mixing my Kat Von D Block It foundation with L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And they're a really nice complement to each other. A lot of people find the Kat Von D very hard to wear if you have more mature skin. And if you use something like this, if you use a foundation that has a little bit of luminosity to it, they complement it and it makes it a little bit easier to wear. And I use my Kat Von D Lock It Eye Primer. This is really nice if you have maturing eyes or a lot of discoloration and it really smooths. I don't even have to use my paint pot when I use this. So throw that in there too. Every day, all day, I've been using my Laura Mercier Ritual. I just, I love it. And it doesn't matter if I have self-tanned or if I have not, it looks so nice. And I really think it's because of the pink in it that makes it look 
so nice. It just warms up and looks, makes you look healthy. And you guys know I love this and they didn't make it anymore. It is Blonde from Physician's Formula. There's an extremely long name. Powder Palette Multicolor Custom Blush in Blonde. I have the brunette one too. It's just a little more, has a little more of a coral peachy in it. And this e.l.f. this e.l.f. lip lock pencil, it is phenomenal. I love this. I have become very dependent on this. Now you can always just do a natural, more neutral, nudie look on your lips like this. If you don't want too much going on with your lips because of your eyes, but I just think red would just make it set. Uh, Rimmel's Kate line and it's in 107. And this is like a staple for me anymore. It is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is amazing, guys. If you want your look to last all day or all night, grab you some of that. It's amazing. Okay, and that finishes my looks. I even did a little design on my nails for you. And don't judge, I've done dishes. I've done too many fawn bottles and I've got to redo myself tan, but anyways focus on the nails focus on the nails <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching once again i would like to thank rosa and Lori for including me in this collab please 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 check down below i'm going to have a list of all the girls and their videos and what they're doing for the fourth of july this is a super fun collab i'm blessed to be in it please go check them out great they will be fun knowledgeable entertaining all of the above. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Have a safe and a happy fourth. Be good to each other and I will see you in the next video.